first thing that I would love to put out there is if you are an overthinker like I am, um, it, 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 it gets easier. Uh, but later, uh, right now, as you have to go through it, the best way not to suffer it is to actually make your body work a lot. You know, overthinking is quite weird because, you know, sometimes you can't even sleep because you're overthinking. Sometimes you can't talk coherently because you're thinking as you talk. Sometimes someone asks you a question and you just don't have what to say because you have so much that you're thinking about. Um, sometimes you're planning on doing something, but the thoughts that are in your mind keep blocking you and they keep putting you back behind that. So it's it's not easy. And many people actually don't really think about it in that regard uh, of how difficult it can be to become an overthinker. But the way the world is... It's not going to wait for you to get your mind together for you to actually, you know, move on and get su your success going. So you have to do things as time is happening. Uh, right now, you have to do something. And the antidote to that is knowing that your brain is actually a tool, it's a machine, and it's always in need of working. As long as your body is alive, it always just wants to work. And so if you don't give it work to do, it is actually going to give you drama. It's going to give itself work because naturally you have a subconscious mind that is going to give your brain work. And your subconscious is based on the things that you have probably, you know, you know, learned as habits or things that are always happening in your life. And now they become paradigms or patterns in your life. So they keep coming up. You get weird thoughts, you get negative thoughts, you get positive, whatever really it is that you're always involved in on a daily basis. So basically your brain is working heavily because it needs to work and your subconscious mind is giving it work uh, you know, to do. But if your conscience is able to get itself together and understand what is very important in your life, at least the top things that you want to actually achieve in your life, then easily you will give your brain some things to do. So you will give it some books to read. You will give it some things to remember. You will give it some tasks to do every day. I mean, you wake up and you lay your bed and you know your brain is actually the one directing you to go and lay that bed. So you need to put your brain into work and exercise your body so that your body gets really, really exhausted and your subconscious mind can also go to rest. And that way, your brain will become uh, more peaceful, you'll become a bit more calm and will just wait for your orders. But as long as you don't give it anything, you just chill at home and you watch TikTok and you watch YouTube videos and you're just relaxing, then your subconscious mind takes over once you don't have anything you're doing. You're all just going to be thinking. I used to do this, I used to listen to rain sounds and listen to heavy stuff in my head just not to think until I was like, how about I give this brain some stuff to do? So writing, coming up with ideas, poetry, writing in your diary, just offloading what is in your mind and putting it to paper it's a bit of one of the best ways the cheat code to get your brain to actually work for you so try that today and uh, i'll be giving you more tips on mental health especially based on my own journey so i'm a peer counselor i would say that or a peer educator uh just a supporter here and I, there's nothing professional that i have in my mind i just want to be able to help so hey let's do it together